Hello, everybody. My name is Jimmy Song. Welcome to Off Chain. A um, lot of stuff for you today. Uh, I, obviously, I'm not doing the show with Tone and Valentine as I usually do. We're sort of taking a little bit of a break uh, during this whole holiday season. Anyway, um, wanted to talk a lot about uh, uh, about BIP 176, which was merged in last night. Uh, thank you, Luke. Um, he he uh, reviewed everything, and since it's an informational BIP. Uh, it gets to sort of just get in there as long as there's nothing obviously wrong with it. Anyway, um, I want to show you exactly what it is and sort of go over what that means with you. Um, here, here's the actual BIP. Hopefully you can see it. Um, actually, I can't tell if you can see it or not. So give me one sec. I don't think you can see it. So... Um, I am going to just share that entire screen. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So now, now I think you can see it, but here, here's the actual BIP. It's in the Bitcoin BIPs repository, BIP 176. Um, uh, and, uh, let me, let me just go over everything. Uh, first of all, if you want to comment on this, there's a URL right here. You can go to BIP, uh, you know, BIPs wiki comments, BIP 176, and you can say whether or not you think it's a good idea or not. Um, Second, this is an informational BIP. That means that this is not a standards track BIP or uh, something that's uh, that needs consensus in order to get through. It's it's just informational. It's saying, hey, you know what? Here's a particular standard. If you want to follow it, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, it's a it's a completely voluntary thing. It's not like some centralized thing. A lot of people seem to think that or something. Um, <clears throat> all right, and uh, yeah, I created it about. Uh, you know, 11 days ago, it's got BSD uh, two clause uh, license. Uh, th those aren't really um, that important. But here's the abstract. Bits is presented here as the standard term for 100 Satoshis or one one millionth of a Bitcoin. So uh, if you don't know already, one Bitcoin can be subdivided into one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin. And uh, and that the base, uh, the most divisible unit is called the Satoshi. Um, and that's more of a slang term. Uh, no, it's actually not in the code. Uh, but yeah, the uh, one, 100 million Satoshis equals one Bitcoin. So it can be subdivided really, really finely. Um, and the, uh, the reason for bits is because 100 million is a little bit too big and about 1 million is enough to subdivide uh, given the current price. So uh, as I say here in the motivation, the Bitcoin price has grown over the years. And once the price is past $10,000 or so, the Bitcoin amounts under $10 USD start having enough decimal places that it's difficult to tell whether the user is off by a factor of 10 or not. Switching the denomination to bits makes the comprehension easier. For example, when BTC is $15,000 USD, $10.05 is a somewhat confusing 0. 0.00067 BTC versus 670 bits, which is a lot clearer. And uh, and it, lo and behold, Bitcoin price is right around uh, 15,000 USD. And 670 bits is a lot easier to detect something being wrong versus 0. 0.00067. If you add an extra zero there, it becomes like a dollar, like dollar and a penny. Uh, if you uh, remove one of the zeros, then it becomes like a hundred dollars. You don't want to be off by a factor of ten. That's that's the key here. Additionally, reverse comparisons are easier, as fifty-nine bits being a dollar is easier to comprehend for most people than point zero 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 five nine BTC being a dollar. And again, you know, reverse comparisons uh, tend to be fairly important, especially if you're paying somebody in Bitcoin um, and you owe them in U.S. dollars. So. A uh, hundred dollars right now is about sixty-seven hundred. Uh, no, not sixty. Sixty-seven thousand bits. Uh, that's a lot easier to comprehend than point zero zero six seven uh, or bits uh, or BTC. Um, I mean, it, it like it depends on the particular price, but uh, if you if you can make that reverse comparison, it's a lot easier. And similar comparisons can be made to other currencies, 1 yen being 0.8 bits or 1 won being 0 0.07 bits and so on. Uh, the yen and the won are uh, the currencies of Japan and Korea in particular. And those two 
um, you know, it's like a hundred yen to a dollar or something like that, or on that order, or a thousand won to a dollar. So, you know, having those comparisons be available is also useful. Um, and you know, those those currencies in particular, um, you know, have large bills, right? Like ten thousand won is about ten bucks, and it's it's actually like a, a an actual bill. And people don't struggle too much with larger numbers. Um, but like very small decimals, they they tend to struggle with because we're just not used to them. So here here are the potential benefits. Um, we can reduce user error on tiny small uh, Bitcoin amounts. Um, if you're off by a decimal point or something like that, that's going to send ten times as much or you know one tenth of what you need to send. Reduce unit bias for users that want to hold Bitcoin. Um, unit bias is this idea that you need a whole of something, right? Um, and one Bitcoin is honestly pretty expensive. Fifteen thousand dollars right now is is a lot of money for most people, and uh, and that often turns off people from buying it. Um, it's speculated that that's why they're buying Litecoin and uh, <clears throat> and Ripple and things like that. Ripple in particular looked very very cheap uh, because it was you know they have billions and billions of Ripple and. You know, uh, if it if it looks like it's less than a dollar, then uh, people wanted to buy it because they wanted to feel rich and have a lot of ripple. Um, so th this removes that bias as long as you know a lot a lot of people start thinking in bits and and uh, and transacting more in bits uh, rather than Bitcoin. Uh, although you know it's the same thing; it's just you know uh, divide or multiply by a million to to get one, go in one direction or the other. Um, it, it is a lot easier to compare prices for most users. Uh, so 0 0.00067 versus 0 0.00009, uh, you know, that's that's going to be hard for people. Uh, whereas, you know, it's like 670 bits versus 90 bits. Okay, well, one is about eight times more than the other, something like that. It, it's it's a lot easier uh, to do that comparison. Um, allows bi-directional comparisons to fiat currencies. That's also true. And all amounts, uh, at least uh, in the current UTXO set, need at most two decimal places, which is sort of the standard. The US dollar, for example, uh, does a dollar and five cents is like 1.05. It, it doesn't go beyond two decimal places. And that's something that a, l a lot of people are already used to. Um, that said, uh, it is possible with something like Lightning Network um, to have uh, to go beyond like one Satoshi. So you can have like fractions of a Satoshi in particular lightning implementations. So we may need to do something going forward. But again, this is an informational bit. No, no obligation to actually, uh, you know, uh, be compatible with this. Uh, it's, it's entirely up to you. So anyway, uh, this, there's a specification here. One bit equals 100 Satoshis. Plural bit is bits. Um, and, you know, it's uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, telling people, hey, this is uh, has already been in use mostly, and this is a way to, uh, you know, formalize it. Um, the rationale here uh, sort of gives some justification. Uh, micro Bitcoin has been used uh, for the same thing, um, and that's to use the SI prefix. Uh, and you know, micro is that uh, Greek letter mu, which a lot of people just um, uh, abbreviate with a U. Uh, but you know, uh, it's it's not as convenient. Uh, it, it's a lot more syllables. Um, uh, that said, you know, you're free to use micro Bitcoin as well. Um, so there there are some other terms uh, that bit conflicts with. Uh, at least in the old days, one bit was half a quarter or like twelve and a half cents. Um, and uh, this is where sort of the terms like uh, two-bit idiot comes from, like uh, that person is only worth like a quarter or something. Um, and, uh, and you know, that that's kind of an old phrase. Um, not not too many people use it nowadays. And uh, Luke Dash uh, said, when Bitcoin hits $125,000, uh, one Bitcoin bit will equal one US dollar bit. Uh, and that's that's true. And, uh, and you know, I, I don't I don't think you need to disambiguate too much because uh, the context will make it clear. Plus, this is kind of an old term that not a lot of people use. Um, bit meaning some amount of data, like uh, you know, like uh, the version field in the block header um, encodes a lot of like different signals and stuff like that. So you know, bit bit the first bit of the version field, something like that. Um, 
that's another meaning. And the, the third meaning is like sort of the uh, strength of a cryptographic algorithm. So um, the SecP256K1 uses a 250-bit ECDSA um, uh, to to uh, sign and verify. So um, I I think it's fairly clear you can you can figure out the context. And Bit has may, many many more. Uh, Definitions than just these, but these are the ones that are most likely to conflict. Uh, I don't, I don't think they will because the context will make it very clear. Uh, so you know, you can have a bit that's like, you know, something in the horse's mouth or something like that. Um, lo lots of different definitions. I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Anyway, I do want to point out that this has been uh, a a term that's utilized, been utilized in Bitcoin for quite a while. Um, and I don't take credit for it. It's just I, I wanted to formalize it so you know we can we can point to it as a BIP and ask uh, wallets and merchants and payment processors and uh, exchanges like, hey, are you BIP one seventy six compatible? Um, and I, ideally, they would be, uh, and we can sort of think in a different way. Uh, which, which brings me to uh, my next point. The mental aspect of this is is quite significant, at least to me. Um, <clears throat> let me stop screen sharing. There, there is this sense that uh, you know, bit, uh, you know, when you when you reduce the um, the unit size, it's it's a lot easier to think in fine grained terms, and this is why uh, you know it makes a big difference, at least in my opinion. A lot of people, I, I've heard so many reports in the past few weeks of people buying Litecoin just because it looks a lot cheaper than Bitcoin and they're like, isn't this the same thing? Or it's, isn't it very similar? I'm just gonna buy the less expensive thing. And, uh, and that, that's um, a human cognitive bias. It's, it's not anything really technical. Uh, but it, it's uh, it does give you sort of a sense of what's going on, and I, I believe that to be the reason why Ripple's gone up so much because it looks so cheap. It's a uh, it's trading currently at around a dollar, so it's like, well, I could buy something for a dollar or whatever. Um, a lot of people aren't obviously looking at the denominator; they're just looking at the numerator here. It's like um, instead of thinking I can own one two hundred ten millionth of a Bitcoin. They're thinking, uh, you know, I, I get only 0.1 Bitcoin, um, and and you know, the, this is this is kind of an unfortunate side effect of the units that we're using. And mentally, uh, if you can convert quickly back and forth between the U.S. dollar and and Bitcoin, uh, it, it it's beneficial because you can do more transactions because it doesn't have that mental cost of calculating back and forth. And I, I believe that to be a very important property of uh, you know, a, a very, very important way to get people sort of involved in this. And as we utilize Bitcoin more, um, especially for saving, because um, you, you want to know how much your savings is worth. And if you if you have it in bits, it'll be easier to convert. So, um, you know, right now we we've gone past sort of bit to cent parity. So we know if we have like. 10,000 bits, um, that it's worth about $150, right? Um, and 10,000 bits, um, you know, eventually, I, hopefully, it gets to like uh, a bit to a dollar. At that point, it's it's very easy to convert. Um, it's not so easy to convert $150 to a bit, uh, to to Bitcoin, right? Like, but you can to bits and so on. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, that that that's about what I was thinking about, uh, you know, Bitcoin and bits and all this other stuff. A, a lot of people seem to be sort of, uh, uh, you know, not supportive of this because they're like, well, people should be able to learn. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I think we should try to help people understand uh, based on sort of like um, the patterns that they already have in their head. People are already used to two decimal places. Um, and that's a lot easier to calculate than, you know, and, and like multiplying or dividing by a million is relatively easy compared to a hundred million. hundred million is, is just a little too big. Um, and, you know, we could use Satoshis, but then, you know, yeah, that, that, that makes the calculation back and forth a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, th this is, uh, th this is the key, uh, is, is getting people to, you know, buy Bitcoin and utilize Bitcoin for savings and uh, transactions and things like that. The, this helps 
uh, adoption. And right now, unit bias is a major, major, uh, you know, adoption um, block, uh, if you will. Um, you know, a lot of stocks do splits and things like that for this reason. Uh, although, you know, Berkshire Hathaway has famously never split. But the fact that Berkshire Hathaway B exists is evidence that, you know, people want to buy smaller lots and, and do things like that. Um, and that, that makes it a lot easier. All right. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of price action. There's been some technical news as well. But, um, you know, I was obviously excited about this. I do want to thank uh, Luke Dash because, um, you know, he helped me through this. Uh, uh, extremely gracious individual. If uh, if you haven't interacted with him, uh, I mean, it, uh, with with like respect to code and stuff like that, he's he he's uh, you know he's very quick um, and you know he he like looked over my changes, uh, found you know reviewed it and everything else. You don't you don't he's uh you know he's very giving in that way. Uh, if you know anything about the whole um you know uh, pull request merge process, usually you, you need somebody to review it and comment on it and all that stuff and uh and that can be oftentimes like pulling teeth because uh you know you have you have to get somebody to go and do it so it's a lot uh it, it you know like as a coder i'm 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 always very grateful when somebody is willing to review quickly and um do it thoroughly uh as, as luke has um but yeah you know this is this is a bit i guess it's not exactly code though you know look like it, it's not it, there. There's a lot of like checks that happen. Like you have to make sure that the title has uh, is like consistent with the README and like the you know it doesn't have too many spaces after the colon and stuff like that. It uh, there there's like all sorts of little things that I had to make sure I do. Uh, so if all for all you uh, aspiring uh, Bitcoin improvement proposal writers out there, uh, make sure you look at the script that actually does the parsing of this stuff. It'll it'll make it a lot easier. Anyway, um, I, I guess I can uh, open it up for some questions. There, there's uh, there's some questions here, no super chat, so none of them are sort of standing out. I'll just sort of take them as they come, I guess. Uh, let's see, anything in here? Nice work, thank you. Uh, Satoshi's is hard enough. Why add another thing called bits? Well, uh, I'm not really adding it per se. It, it's already been around, and it's a lot easier to uh, calculate with. Um, and Satoshi's again. It's uh, it's hard for it, it's it's too big of a jump from Bitcoin. Um, and you know, a uh, hundred and fifty, or uh, you know, it's something like one penny is like sixty-seven Satoshi. The numbers get a little too big. Um, and you know, it might make sense to use Satoshi again. Um, once we go up another couple of orders of magnitude. But at least for now, it's just doesn't it doesn't really work uh and you know we have dollars and cents in in us dollars and that's that works out fine you can still say you know so, um and that's what it's meant to be bits and satoshis um satoshis are one one hundredth of a, a a bit all right let's see um let's see here coinies what um any other yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it. Um, thank you for joining me. I, I, I guess uh, this this wasn't a very long video. Uh, I'd like to thank the 487 live viewers. Um, and uh, obviously, we're going into the holiday season. Uh, I'm, I'm very, once again, very, very thankful for all of you. Uh, you guys uh, have uh, been very supportive, and I'm, I'm encouraged by all of your support. And uh, and I am working on my book. I'm um, you know trying to finish the first chapter right now. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I have to figure out some creative licensing regarding around that. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to figure that out. Anyway, thank you all. Um, and this song is done.